what's up guys so i've gotten a lot of questions from mostly some new subscribers so before i start thank you guys appreciate the support so i've gotten a lot of questions on the engine and if i've done an updated walk around i guess so i'm just going to show you guys real quick uh the engine bay on the bronco tell you what i've done to it what i've done to it recently and then yeah so let's get started all right, so I'm running dual batteries. Um, my main battery, my main house battery is a Duralast Gold. Second battery is just like a little shitty uh, Home Depot Titan battery. Then I have the Blue Sea fuse box that controls my top lights, both inverters, my rear light or the chase lights, and then my light bar. And then on my light bar, it's connected to the Light Fox pods. So when this turns on, those two turn on as well. So yeah, it was easy install. I did everything. I had to order everything through Amazon. Got it pretty, like, I wanna clean up all this rat nest right here, but for the most part, I got it pretty clean and no, it works good. I'm running a uh, bigger alternator, I'm not sure. Uh, what the size is on it honestly, but I know it's bigger than the stock one so That's new the whole EGR system the sensors the plugs everything the tube was recently installed So the whole EGR system is new the the EGR tube that goes down to the exhaust is new So what else over here the auto body spacer from Transdep, and then These I give them a nice polish and a nice cleaning inside I'm running JBA headers, uh, Motorcraft spark plugs, um, I think Duralast, yeah there should be Duralast, no. Pro Start, 8mm uh, ignition wires, the spark plugs have a little bit of bigger gap because of the 6 liter tune, and then what else, GT40 heads, then it has a custom cam, I really don't know the specs, I just know that it's made to run good in the street and then give me some power when I need it. Then I got MSD distributor cap and rotor, an MSD ignition coil, a new Deco belt that just went on recently too. What else? Brand new radiator, brand new clutch, brand new fan. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm. Uh, SMB brand new filter But yeah, the brake system it all I've gone through it completely the AC works now so Yeah, everything here is pretty much have gotten touched or fixed or gone through so Yeah, it's pretty reliable. I love this thing um, Not the most power, but you know, it keeps up So yeah, overall everything's been touched, everything's been worked on, uh, it's a reliable engine. I think it's only left us on the freeway one time and the minute we got it off the tow truck it just started right back up. The fucking, uh, the ignition coil gave out, the little metal probe in the front started bouncing around and that was it. But yeah, fuel systems all checked, fuel, fuel injectors are rebuilt, the fuel pressure regulator is brand new, fuel lines are all brand new. Um, yeah, everything's been fixed. Everything's been gone through. Love this thing. It's reliable as shit. Uh, we always carry spares in the back, so anytime I change something, I keep the spare in the back, or if it's still good, I keep it. Uh, I had to move the can over here to get the second battery, because that's where it used to be. So I just moved everything over here and then ran the hose to get it all back to where it's supposed to be. But yeah. Uh, this is a 302 So yeah, what's up guys? So the uh, Thank you everybody that voted for the new logo. So the logo is gonna change 
the reason the logo is changing is because we love our old logo. It took me a while to design it, and it's a badass logo. But I have a lot of friends that street race. I have a lot of friends that do Baja. A lot of, I have a lot of friends that pre-run, and you know, just not everybody does the whole camping overlanding thing. So I want to make a logo where it's more welcoming to everybody. So you know, people can wrap our shit and vice versa. That it's not just like we're not just closing ourselves off to a certain thing because we want to. We want to. I'll get more into that later, but we want to explore into different things right now. So yeah, I want to make it more friendly and more welcoming to everybody, like Baja crowd, pre-running crowd, uh, just everybody that all my friends that I hang out with and that supported me. So yeah, that's the reason the logo is changing a little bit more friendly, a little bit more, I guess, neutral. So yeah, the name's staying the same, just the logo is changing. And then what else? And as far as the truck, um, I'm gonna keep it mostly under wraps. Only, I think, my, me, my wife, and then Rick, uh, Tall Adventures, he's the only one that knows what's gonna happen to the engine. So, the engine as it is already has a lot of power. It already, it bucks like a champ. But, of course I want more power. So once all the parts get swapped out, um, yeah, it's gonna make a lot more power. So, yeah, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. It's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, I gotta save up for that because it's gonna cost a pretty penny. So I'm gonna keep the same 302 engine. I'm just gonna add or swap out a few parts that, yeah, it's gonna be a beast. So that's gonna change, engine's gonna change just so that way we have a little bit more power, you know, into the things that we wanna explore into. And then the suspension. So. Everybody started talking shit like, oh, where's your coils or where's this and that? Like, you know what? Like, we use our rig. Like, I'm sorry, but this shit gets driven every day and I don't want to fucking have an annoying ass rig that I'm going to drive to. I'm going to hate to drive. So, we, we, we fix this thing and we modify it to what's going to fit our needs. And that's what people forget is that, you know, not everybody likes the shit you like. But that's fine. Like, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But we fixed this truck and we modified it to that way. It's not annoying when we drive every day, and then we can just have fun with it and still do shit, but it's still a comfortable ride. So the shocks that I have, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you guys that they're good up to, the fronts are good up to a four inch lift and the backs are good up to a six inch lift. So they'll still work with the next suspension coming up. And then, like I said, it's not gonna come overnight. It's not cheap, but the front's gonna get done. The back, I think, might get done if I could find the right parts or I might just rebuild the existing springs to be tougher but as far as the front that's gonna get redone and then like I said we're, we're gonna explore into new things uh, we're still gonna camp we're still gonna do adventure the content is gonna stay the same but we are gonna throw in a lot more shooting a lot more hiking and then a lot more of off-roading but yeah it's gonna be that's, that's where I'm gonna need that power so it's gonna be a lot of heavy foot driving a lot of crazy shit going on. Layla's getting older, so we want to start doing a lot more things that we can now, that we couldn't before. So yeah, the truck's gonna change a little bit. For the most part, it's gonna stay the same, but yeah. It's gonna get a few things painted, all the chrome's gonna leave, and it's gonna have more power. Suspension's gonna be a little bit more better, a, a little bit better for the desert. And then, but yeah, a lot of things are coming, a lot of new things are gonna come, and it's gonna come within time so once the money starts racking up it's gonna get a little bit better and better every time so it's a short update uh, thank you guys for watching uh, thank you for all the questions I've gotten about the engine I hope the little walk around kind of helped it was kind of quick but you know I don't have much time today uh, I'm gonna go missing for a little bit probably like a week week and a half I got shit to take care of but yeah thanks for watching this is a Bronco uh, stay tuned the changes are going to be fucking awesome. So yeah, thank you.